160. Hustlers is the 2019 movie starring Constance Wu as Dorothy slash Destiny, a single mother who takes to the pole when she's down on her luck. We also meet some of the girls in the club. We meet Kiki Palmer as Mercedes. We meet Lily Reinhardt as Annabelle, a new girl who doesn't have the strongest stomach. We also see in supporting roles Cardi B. What's up, baby? We're gonna help her learn how to do a, a real dance. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm good at that. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, ah. As Diamond, one of the veterans at the club, and we also see my girl Lizzo. As Liz, she's in there with her flute. She's not blaming it on her juice. Great cast. We also have Mercedes Rule as Mama, Academy Award winner in the flick. But I can't leave off the return of Julia Stiles as Elizabeth, the reporter, and the iconic and hopefully Brett acclaim worthy uh, and award worthy turn Jennifer Lopez as Ramona Vega. J Lo, prepare for this. Yeah. You're gonna like this bowl a lot. <laughs> this is your bowl? This is my bowl. So it's a little older, but it has a coating on it. Okay. It's really easy to hold on to. Oh, okay. But you won't have this coating for the movie, I'm sure. This is just. Why don't we have them at that one if it's better? Because it would never be in a strip club. Okay. Because they would never have this coating on a strip club. Okay. Um, but it's really easy to hold on to. Okay. So it'll be easy for training purposes. I mean, it's, it's rough on your body. It's real acrobatics. But I'm just trying to learn the mechanics right now. So I, because strippers have lots of time to practice. You know, they're there every night. You know, if they work the club every night. And, you know, so they start learning little by little. Exactly. But we have, like, to do a crash course. Exactly. Like, Cardi was telling me, she was like, it took her years. Like, she's great at it, but it took her years to kind of, like, figure out all of this stuff. And Joanna's trying to teach me in a matter of, like, six weeks. Yes, there is. Nice. I'm not trying to look like I could be in Cirque du Soleil and be, like, a, you know, top acrobatic in the world. Smooth. It would have been beautiful, yes. I'm just trying to look convincing as I'm, I've been stripping for a while. Yeah. I've been stripping for a while. I'm comfortable on this pole. Um, and I'm also comfortable with my game because my character is, he really has the hustle down. Experience. So this part of her, this is her intro, like the first time you see her. So it, it's sexy, it's dangerous. Like we're still not even in that part yet of where we're going to choreograph what that is. I'm just still learning like how you go upside down. And, what hand to put on there to do a spin and not to spin too fast and how do I let myself slide down the pole? <laughs> Things like that. So then we can get to the character stuff of like nasty yeah. yeah. Four, five, six. 
seen the movie please stop now and uh go see it no just go see it don't skip to the rest of my video come back after you've seen it leave me a like if you've already seen it but let me know what you think if you have so here is your spoiler warning the scene is all set we've got destiny hard on our lock so the movie opens and i think a very, very cool way. We see her, her first night at the club, we're introduced to the girls and into the lifestyle, and we see she's the new girl on the block and she's trying to make it. And I thought this was a really cool way to introduce Constance Wu. Um, you really get a feel for her. I was like, oh my gosh, this is this world that she's been thrown into. And, and it's something that I think, shh, ugh, I can't even describe it. We, after a failed first night, where she uh, doesn't make very much, and then she's got to give the doorman a cut, and then she's got to give, like, the inside guy a cut. Um, so the girls are getting worked over, and it's showing. It's hard out there for a single woman. Uh, we see Constance, uh, excuse me, Destiny. We see Destiny go up to the rooftop, and we see Jennifer Lopez sitting in a skimpy bikini, platform hills to high heavens, smoking a cigarette in a fur, full-length fur coat. Iconic. That alone was the price of admission. I looked at Jenny and I was like, yas, girl, yas, 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 uh, um, <laughs> just, hey, we're a little, so, but they form a friendship, and as she's telling uh, Ramona, as she's telling Ramona how it went, Ramona's like, okay, you know what, stick with me, kid, I'll show you the moves, we'll get you going, I'll help you survive. Like, she has this instantly motherly, protective feel for uh, Dorothy. And so we see her teaching Dorothy the ropes. That's really cute. That's where we see Cardi B. Now, Cardi, I will admit, for all of you guys going to see Cardi B uh, and Lizzo, maybe you're coming in, you don't know or care about too much anything else, you want to see your girls, um, I was a little upset that they were not in the movie more. Uh, Cardi B definitely is Cardi B, and she is so charming. I didn't know her. I just came around her to her, I really was on her side when she said what she had to say about Trump and healthcare and going to the gynecologist's office. I was here for that, um, and I really fell in love with her, and she is so charming. She can be who she is. She came and she delivered herself to this role. It was probably just made to be her. I could go on and on, but she's just not featured as much as I would like. And same thing with Lizzo. Lizzo's my girl, my flute girl. She even brought the flute in the movie, so I appreciated that. But these two larger-in-life musicians uh, just only get these moments to shine, and but I'm happy they're there. So um, Ramona's teaching Dorothy the ropes, and she's learning the process, and the game is being up. So Ramona teaches her with the guys that come in the club. There are You want to kind of scout 
who is going to pay that big bucks. You can tell who the low-level Wall Street guys are because they're desperate. They're just trying to get in their foot in the door and they'll spend their whole paycheck on you, but you might not see them again because they're skittish. Then you got the middle guys who uh, kind of will dip their toe in, but maybe not because they don't want to get found out by the wife. They're still a little wholesome. And then you got the top players. You got the CFOs, the CEOs, the presidents. You got those people who $15,000 means nothing, $20,000 means nothing, swiping that card and the wife's not asking any questions. Um, she describes these are the people that ha live by no consequences and they will degrade you but they will swipe that card. Ramona and Dorothy form this bond and they start bringing in some girls to kind of learn the tricks of the trade. We see Mama, played by Mercedes Rule again, she is like the hen mother and she, I always felt like she was kind of one of the girls back in her day and so she's all, she's perpetuating that generational thing. She's looking out for Ramona, Ramona's looking out for the girls and uh, it's, it's lovely to see. So they're working the claw, they look great. There's this one scene where Jennifer Lopez has this exquisite like diamond um, I don't even know what to call it, showgirl outfit and, and like captain's hat. And she looks so stunning. How is it that a woman at 50 years old looks fitter, looks hotter, looks younger than any of these Instagram wannabes out there? J Lo. Whew. Um, it's just a magnificent sequence. So props, I read that they envisioned this costume to be like a signature piece to really set the tone of the movie, to show the glamour, but it's still in a strip club, so to show the low life, the juxtaposition. Loved it. The girls are working their way up, but the club is, you know, still taking a, a cut. They're getting frustrated, but they're still living high, so they're, they're content where they're at. What I didn't expect was for this movie to play into the 2008 uh, financial disaster that happened here in the United States, and I believe pretty much everywhere. Uh, if you don't know, the, the markets, the stock market just kind of crashed almost as bad as 29. Uh, but people lost everything, mortgages, housing, everything fell, and so there weren't people coming to the clubs. Business was down, it was slow, the club looked dead, and uh, Dorothy ends up having a kid with one guy who runs off and they don't stay together, but she has a daughter now, and so she leaves that life behind. She goes back to regular ways, making, scraping by, and uh, you know, three years pass and she's so down on her luck that she's like, okay, I gotta get back into it. So she calls up her old clients and, you know, they're not feeling it. She's like, what else do I do? I'm going back to the club. So she goes back to the club and she catches eyes with Ramona and Ramona's like, girl, why didn't you call me? No, I'm your sister. You know, I understand you gotta do what you gotta do for your life, that's fine, but we're family now, so you should have called me. And she's like, well, I'm hard up. And she's like, no, I'm still doing good. I'm still doing pretty good, still got a good apartment. Um, so you wanna do something and get back into it? And they start out from there. Ramona and Dorothy come back together again. They're returning to the club, but this time they've got a plan. Ramona devises a scheme where she's going to make a mixture of ketamine and MDMA, which will wipe the memories of the guys, but keep them happy and, and healthy enough to sign those checks. So, Dorothy and Ramona, I love the scene where they're making the concoction. It reminded me of a comic, Breaking Bad. Um, they really played that up. That was really cool. Uh, but we see that they've recruited uh, Mercedes, played by Kiki Palmer, and Lily Reinhardt's Annabelle to be the, the four horsewomen of this operation. And so, the plan is to one girl lures the guy in, then says, my friends are coming. And the other three show up, and they kind of spike the guy's drink with the drug that keep him ready to party and so then they take him back to the club where they run up the tab and they get him to sign and if he asks any questions they're gonna be like well what did you do you just had a great time at the club and so they're good so good at playing this and it plays off of the sort of fear that men don't really want to talk about themselves being taken advantage of by a woman and so the girls are killing it at this game. They are buying apartments, Escalades, boots. They are throwing, um, you know, living large, everything off of the back of these guys. Thousands of dollars are being dropped every night. So the operation grows so large that Ramona gets the idea to increase the number of girls in her army. The only problem with that is when you increase the numbers, there is more breach of trust potentially, you, then you get the quality of the girl that you can get diminishes. I love the scene where we saw Mercedes rule. She's kind of the den mother. She brings the girls in and teaches them the ways before sending them out in the field. Uh, we see them at the mall picking up girls and we've got, you know, girls who have no idea. We had one girl had asthma. Um, you know, Constance is a little worried because Ramona brings home these girls that seem like they're junkies, they are homeless, you know, um, which is nothing wrong with being either of those, but if you're going to be in this sort of 
operation, you need to be on the right track to getting those things cleaned up. That's what Constance is worried about. And Roma, Ramona doesn't seem to care. She wants to take in all the lost souls and put them out on the street to make some money for her. Uh, and so we get this underlying tension that we know something's not right in the back of Dorothy's mind, even though they're living large, um, that, you know, Ramona will do anything to get that, get that coin handy. As the movie progresses, we really see this family bond between all of the girls. Jennifer Lopez, my God, I just really cannot say enough. She, when the scene at Christmas, where she sits at the head of the table and she is charming and she is engaging everybody, it reminds you of a mob boss, but at the same time, you are drawn into it and you feel for her, you fall for her. You get the sense that if, you know what, if you were a lost little lamb, she would have picked you up too. And you would have been at that table. Like Jennifer Lopez does such an amazing job here. It just cannot be stated enough. Uh, but at the same time, we know the crash is coming, so how does it come, you may ask? Well, it turns out there is no price. There is no price that Ramona is not willing to pay. Um, she starts being missing, you know, she's supposed to be the leader, but no one can get a hold of her. And one night, there is this, there's a client in which, you know, he takes the drug and he dives off the roof. So he, they gotta get him to the hospital, Ramona's not answering, and it's just a wild, bloody mess, and finally Dorothy realized this is fucking enough. This is enough how, like, we're destroying people's lives at this point. These men are losing everything. We're taking, one guy even gets fired, and he's the one that ultimately helps bring down the group. But, you know, Dorothy's like, I have a daughter. You know, I can't be doing this. I can't perpetuate the hurt. The famous quote, hurt people, hurt people, is reminded here. And I was kind of waiting for Jennifer Lopez's full heel turn. Like, she never really goes fully off the rails. I don't know. Uh, if that happened in the real story, but she never fully goes after, but she calls her ungrateful bitch and she like all this and all that. And so without going into too much, the girls do eventually get caught and you know, Dorothy makes that choice. Do I, do I protect my daughter and try to make a deal to get out or do I say loyal to this family? And it's such a heart wrenching moment where Dorothy reveals that she did take the deal. So she's turned her back on this sisterhood and I was expecting like, ooh, a screaming, how could you do this, where your family had to take care of you, but Jennifer Lopez plays it such in a way that you're like, you see it turning in her mind that, yeah, I, you got a daughter, I would do anything to protect you like you were my daughter, and I have a daughter too, so if I was really thinking about her, I would have done this too, and she just says go. And so all the while, Julia Stiles is getting this information in 2014 to write this article about what happened back then. And at the end, Dorothy, as Constance Wu, is all like, um, so what did she say about me? Like, she's paranoid that like, she would have bad mouth her. And she just goes, nope. We see a final closing scene of Dorothy just still has her picture, just saying that's, you know, if we would have known each other sooner, we could have took care of each other. Just two lost souls. And you just makes you fall in love with Jennifer Lopez. Ooh, ooh, I was born to flex, diamonds on my neck. I like more than jets, I like more than sex. But nothing in this world, and I like more than jets. Overall, Hustlers is an amazing film that tells the story of female empowerment in a male-dominated financial world. The sisters are doing it for themselves. In all seriousness, Hustlers is an amazing film. It serves iconic, fashionable looks. That's why I wanted to serve you looks here today. Those two harnesses, I made those because I was so inspired. I've been on the pole a time or two, so I know what it's like to feel like it's not really worth it. How do you survive? How do you get better? I did it not because of the money, because I actually thought it was fun, but these ladies needed to do it to survive. So I really connected with and appreciated that. Jennifer Lopez turns in a career defined performance. Everyone can remember when Matthew McConaughey started Magic Mike, he did Wolf of Wall Street and the Dallas Buyers Club, and he transformed from a stoner comedy actor to a serious Hollywood player. I believe that this moment is that moment for Jennifer Lopez. He took home the Oscar on one single moment turn, and I think she'll do the same. If J-Lo is not in the Oscar conversation come February, um, I'm going to get the girls. We're drugging everybody and we're signing those ballots because I think Jenny from the block should take a boy named Oscar home to meet Mama. <sighs> Seriously, I couldn't have enjoyed this movie enough. I guess you see it here. But until next time, it's been Brandon Tangover. You had a good time, baby, don't you remember?